Ah, Melody Village, a world of laughter and imagination, where thinglings of all kinds live in perfect harmony. See, what did I tell you? A banana. Thank you, Richard. We'll take it from here. Hi, I'm Bella. And come in! And that's Boris. What's up, Internet? And this is Melody Village. It's pretty cool. We have banana cones. Hey! each other, KK. This is going to be the greatest friendship ever! <laughs> You're gonna love our next friend! She's awesome! She's super smart and super chill! Marge the Sloth! Hi. And so we leave Melody Village. Come back to visit anytime. Bella, Boris, and all their fingling friends will be waiting for you. we do. Huh? Good morning, friends. I'd like you all to meet someone. Whoa! Hello, I'm Bella. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling our new friends some things about yourself. Well, I could, or I could just show them. It's a light day. Let's do this! She uh, has a lot of energy. later. And then I came out in this amazing flowing dress just in time for the chocolate aliens. I think they were aliens. They might have just been weird kids. It hang with friends. Fun. And that's when the dance number started. It was so awesome. So how are you? Rapid fingerling retires for a quiet evening, satisfied with the good night, Bella. It was nice meeting you. That is not what we did in rehearsal. Eh, needed some pizzazz. You monkeys have real control issues. Hey, everybody! Boris, and you're not! Okay, so I get that we all have to do these intro videos, but I figured we'd do something with a little more... style. Top 5 Things About Boris! You have your own studio audience. You know it! Drum roll, please! Number 5! Boris has an identical twin sister named Bella! Creepy, right? Number four, Boris has a complicated relationship with the minis. We have to talk about this. <laughs> it just gets worse when you give them attention, guys. Number three, Boris has a 
Stuffed animal named Major Monkey Pants. Pew, pew, pew! But Major Monkey Pants, what will we do? We're surrounded! Calm down, soldier. Just stand back and I'm on the case. Pew, pew, pew. pew. Number two. <laughs> Boris and Bella have a special twin language called Monkey Latin. <laughs> Number one thing you didn't know about Boris. He rocks the drums! Good night, everybody! This has been Top 5 Things About Boris. Good night! Are you sure you don't want to use our camera crew? Honey, I am a digital girl. So pretty. And welcome to the Banana Shack. Duh! What's up, fam? Hi, Gigi. Hey, Ollie. Hit me with the use. But, like, you never ordered the same thing twice, eh? Mysterious, Nispa. Hey, Bells. Fanbase Bella, Bella Fanbase. Hello! Fanbase! Yeah! Selfie shoot! This is my friend Marge. We'd love to do spin class together here at the park. Only it's unicorn style! <laughs> it's a unicorn thing. I don't know why. <laughs> Life. I like to be normal when I can. <laughs> my baby! Oh, oh, you give oh, me back my phone! Give me oh, oh, right now! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Marge the Sloth. Um, she's a sloth. and gentlemen, that was Marge the Sloth. What's your name? Gigi! Okay, uh, just read the teleprompter for your audition. What's the teleprompter? Ooh, words! Good morning, everyone. I am Gigi the Unicorn, and you are watching Sparkle Heights Weather Report. That means with an onset of the scent of banana winds, the smell of chocolate chip cookies will soon be in the air. Mmm, boy. Chuck. And after a lollipop harvest like this one, all residents of Sparkle Heights will certainly be in one sweet mood. <laughs> Terry. I'm standing here on cotton candy. 
candy thing where the Santa banana winds are starting to pick up! Jawbreaker ah! hail! Ah! Back to you, Mr. Squirrel! <sighs> Not even these Santa banana wings can stop your number one news team from bringing you the weather truth! <laughs> What's happening? That was amazing! We need you to be the face of Sparkle Vision Weather Channel! Uh, no way! National or local? You two! Meh, I'm okay. Thanks, though, I guess. Ugh. Hey, I'm uh, here about the uh, weather dude gig. Did you bring an umbrella? Huh? Too hot to uh, narrate. Have an idea. Wow, this is so refreshing. Oh, come on, you guys. We can make the best of this. Woo! I know. I spy with my little eye something. The ocean? Whoa, you guys are good! Marshmallow men are crazy, I'm telling ya. <laughs> oh, best day ever. Ever. Totes. You... Worth it. Best day ever. on a miraculous planet, filled with wonder and love. A world where the fingerlings frolic and play in perfect harmony. Why are you talking like that? It makes me sound smart and stuff. Yeah. Ah, yes. And like most natural habitats, it comes with its own, um, <clears throat> uh, meet the minis. Living by pack mentality, the Mini is driven by only one thing. To create as much chaos as they can at any given moment. <laughs> Needless to say, they're very, very good at it. The Mini has spotted its prey. The poor creature below, unaware of the impending danger. He knows something isn't quite right. Unfortunately, it's too late. The Minnie's prey puts up a valiant fight. But in the end, it is too much as he succumbs to his attackers. I hate those guys. Truly defining the term wildlife, there is one thing we can learn from the minis, and that is... Whoa! Excuse me! Oh, hey, goodness, there are so many of you! <laughs> don't touch that! Wait! Don't spill that on the... Oh, no! Oh, this has been Planet Fingerlings! Good night! I told you I don't have any food! Hello, Bella. Hiya. And what are you doing today? Bouncing. And why is that? 
Oh, you're trying to set the world record for the most jumps in a single day? Nope. I'm gonna break it. Impressive. Thank you. Especially considering that Ilsa Jumpinoff is doing a book signing right now at the Banana Shack. Say what now? She's visiting Melody Village today. I did not know that. Well, I know she's your hero. Well done. Uh, Bella? But how are you? I can do both. But I need to focus. about your world record and had to come and see you right away. You too? Of course, that's how I started, bouncing as a little girl. Do you mind if I take a photo with you? Bella's face stayed frozen like that for seven weeks, three days, four hours, and 16 minutes. Just long enough to break another world record for the longest held goofy face ever. This is Robo Sapien. And I am instructing you to like and subscribe below, or I will destroy you! And thank you for watching, friend. Dude, 